Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn. In this video, I'll show you three steps to do each time Microsoft releases an update for Flight Simulator. Let's get into it. So step number one, so you've just downloaded the latest world or city update. The first thing you'll do, and this does not pertain to avionics updates, you'll wanna check the store page or the blog post for this update on flightsimulator.com. You'll wanna notate the airports that have been added. Why is this important? Because you don't want to have duplicate airports that cause conflicts in the simulator, such as double jetways, bumps or holes in the taxiway and runways. You'll then want to go to Profile Content Manager, type in the names of the airports that have been added. You might also want to try the airport code to ensure there are no duplicates. In this case, I see that I only have one Salzburg, but I do have two Munich airports. Microsoft's and sim wings. As you can see here, the airports aren't named the same, and this is why you want to type both the name and airport code. Because I like the sim wings airport better, I'll delete the Microsoft version. You can do this with all the airports that have been added in the update. Now on to step number two. This step is for all updates, even if it's just an avionics one with no additional sceneries. You'll want to delete your rolling cache. Why? because the old cache can cause artifacts in the cached area. Click on delete rolling cache file and presto. Now you can move on to step number three. Step three will require a free app from Parallel42 called Simstaller, which could not only install downloads to your package destination or apps library, it can also go through all your flight simulator add-on files to see if there's a conflict or if a DLC has modified or overridden other flight simulator files. I'll put a link to this app in the video description. Once the scan is done, review to see if there's anything in red. Even if there is something in red, you might not have to do anything with it. Doing these three easy steps after a flight simulator update will keep your simulator in good shape. Now I do get questions about missing airports after an update. Before getting all frustrated and reinstalling the whole sim, here are a few things you can do to troubleshoot beyond the three steps I mentioned before. Number one, re-download the world or city update. Number two, delete your content.xml file. Don't worry, it will automatically create a new one. Go to your community folder and then go back up two levels to your local cache folder and you'll find the content.xml there. Delete it. You'll see that it automatically regenerates without restarting the sim. Number three, delete your scenery indexes. In your local cache, there's a folder called scenery indexes. Open it and you'll see all the index files for your sceneries. Click on the first one, then while holding shift, click the last one. And you can also right click and select all. Delete all the files. Again, once the sim restarts, these files will be recreated. And then step four, restart your PC and simulator. If issues still persist, you're best to look at the forums on flightsimulator.com to see if others had the same issue. If not, post your issue there. Hope this video helps you out. If it did, please consider leaving a super thanks as a token of your appreciation by clicking thanks below this video. It would be greatly appreciated and the funds go back into the channel to make more helpful videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in this next video.